Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and here we're going to learn how to count the number of comments that we have and update that into our database using Laravel and uh, jQuery Ajax so we can reload so we can submit the form without reloading the page. So basically what we have here is if we go to the second post here for example, we have view post number ID number 2 and we have three comments. So let's add some more comments. Um, Let's all get ridiculously rich. Post comment. And now we have five comments. So if we go back here uh, to our database and we have our ID number two, we, cur we started out with three comments and if we refresh this page, we have three. But if I refresh this page once and then I refresh the database, it becomes five. So, uh, the data so on page reload it counts how many comments it is and it automatically updates the database without having to submit a separate form so as soon as a user visits a page on the site it automatically re updates the comment count to whatever the comment count currently is so it's um it's not perfect if a user decides to comment um after uh, decides to not to reload the page after commenting, that particular comment won't be counted in. But if but if another user from somewhere else reloads the page, then the comment will be updated into the database. So uh, it's not the best way to do it, but if you just want a system that works and you're not too concerned about accuracy and just want the base, basic fundamentals of your business down, then you wanna do it this way. So basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, figure out how to use um, jQuery. I'm going to show you what to code so that you can use jQuery to automatically get that comment count and then use Laravel to update the database. So we're going to do a little bit of Laravel and a little bit of jQuery in this tutorial. So let's go to the first thing that we need to do. The first thing we need to do is we, got, we have to go to view post.blade.php. So I'm going to just check what I have here. Um, view post. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, I think we have the Facebook comment count. Let's just check what we have here. And this is our fresh site. So if you go here we have so we currently have seven comments here. So what we want to do is we want to use Ajax to count that comment and update that in, into the database. So uh, let's uh, first, let's go down and let's create some Ajax here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a set timeout and here we're going to do, uh, let's say, um, we're gonna do set timeout and then we're gonna say function and we're gonna say document get element by ID value so let's say get element by ID Facebook form comment count I think let's see Facebook form comment count I'm just gonna check what I have Facebook form comment count so we have to actually create the form first so let's uh, let's do that first so let's create the form and let's put it uh, let's put it right here right below the comment count so form action is going to be uh, root and if we go back to our uh, command line if we go cd block 2 and we'll go php artisan root list it takes a little time so we want to go to posts dot update this one right here and it goes to controller updates and then post with the ID and it's the method of put and put or patch so we're going to say root uh, post.update and then id is equal to id and then the method is going to be post and then we want a csrf field and then we because we need to make it into a put method we're going to put input type hidden me, uh, name is going to be method underscore method and value is going to be put this is how we do it in Laravel and then input type whoops that's not what I want input type text name comment 
account ID is equal to Facebook form comment count. That's what we want. All right. So now that we have this right here, sorry about the siren, guys. There's um, there's a fire fire truck going by or something. I can't quite tell. That's uh, I live in a pretty quiet neighborhood, but wow, <laughs> this never happens in my neighborhood. But um, anyways, so. Uh, I, I hope I hope the police officers or the fire I can't I, I don't know if it's a police officer or a fire department I hope there's a college near near my area so I guess it's a fire department drill or something like that but anyways um, not to worry let's get back to programming so we go to FB form comment count and we get the element by ID and we want this let's see we want We want this uh, is equal to uh, fb comment count inner dot inner dot html. So now, if we and then we have to set a timer of uh, we're going to set a timer of 1,000. So one second after the page loads, it's going to update into this area. So refresh the page. So as soon as the page loads, it gets one second there. So now we have the input num comment count number inside the form. So now we have, we have to actually submit the form. So for that, we're actually going to use Ajax. So uh, And we can delete this uh, press button uh, function. We don't need this anymore. And we can delete this button because we don't need the button. So in the Ajax here, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, var let form var is equal to uh, I did form because there's only one form on the page but you can do ID it doesn't matter next um, we have to do dot uh, dollar sign Ajax to call the jQuery Ajax function and then you do this then we go URL method and data these are the three that we need to define whoops these are the three that we need to define so url is going to be form var dot prop and this is going to equal to whoops root this is where the form is headed to so blocks dot update wow fuck uh sorry guys root blogs dot oh wait not blogs post dot update and id is equal to id since we already have that input inside the form next the method is going to be put that's really easy and then data is going to be form var serialize and uh there you go that that's how it's done so now that we have that done, we actually have to uh, create the um, the column. So if we go back to our PHP admin, if we go to um, our table here, and we go to posts, we currently don't have the uh, we don't have the count comments um, count comments column. So we have to use that use a uh, uh, our command line we go php artisan i think it was a uh, let's see it was yeah it was a php artisan make migration at common count column to posts table posts table and then table posts so that should do it so let's just make sure i have the right one add common count column to posts table table posts yeah that's right so if we do that and it takes a little while to create it. So wait for that for a little bit. And all right, so we have it created. And then let's go back here and we have this right here. So let's see what we got to do here. Um, what we have to do is we have to go to SEMA and then we have to say uh, table integer 
comment count. And then if we drop the table column, we want to say table drop column comment count. All right, so now that we have that created, let's, make, let's just make sure I have the right the stuff. So table integer comment count, table drop column comment count. All right, so that's done. So now let's go back to our command line and let's go php artisan migrate. And then let's just wait that, okay, that's created. So now if we go back here, refresh the page, we have the comment count column right here and I'm just gonna move it over, oops, move it right over here. So it's right there. And then I think that's, I think that's it. So if we go back to our um, page and we refresh the page, I think one of, whoops, I think one of these should say seven. Nope, didn't say anything. Let's see what we did wrong here. All right, so um, if we go to view post.blade.php, uh, view post.blade.php, let's see if everything is right. I think everything's right. Form root post.update ID. If I go to console log, let's see if there's any errors. No, oh, there's no errors. You know what? I'm going to uh, try practice submitting this form. So I'm going to do a uh, input submit. Input type submit, value submit, comment count. Refresh the page. All right. So I'm going to just um, go to the form form action here. Um, let's see if I do PHP artisan post post update, right? That's right. So post update, I think that's right. Post update ID is equal to ID method post CSRS CSRF field type input type hidden method value put oh right we have to go to our post controller okay so we have to go to our post controller and then under uh, update so right here we have to say post is equal to post find by ID comment count is equal to request comment count I think that was it let's just double check so if we go to view post name is common count so that's right so uh, i think common count should do and we go post comment count is equal to comment count post save and return return redirect root uh, post.show with the ID, whoops, ID is equal to ID. All right, so now that should do it. So basically it redirects to view show here with the ID, so that's what it's doing. So it can process the information. So if we go back to our page and if we go back here, refre refresh the page, I think one of these should say seven now. There you go, we have seven right there. So now that we have that up, now we're just gonna hide all this because we don't actually wanna see the form and the numbers anymore. So if we go style here, style, uh, display, no, I'm just doing really crude CSS. I'm not trying to make this into some nice form. I just want you guys to see the functionality. That's pretty much the point of these tutorials. So display none. I think that's it. So if we go back to our page, refresh, we don't see anything. And if we go back here, we have eight posts. So if you see here, we have seven, oops, we have seven, oops, we have seven posts here. I can't select that. And then if we go refresh, and then we go back here, refresh, it turns to eight. All right, so let's try another one. Let's go to our second, uh, this is post number two. Uh, object, okay, so that's, whoops always giving me an error for some reason. All right, so refresh the page. Refresh the page again, oops, it's one. Now let's refresh the page again. So now it should be two. All right, there you go, two. So there you have it. That's how we uh, calculate based on the most number of comments. Now that we have it in a database, we can actually pull it 
and display our posts depending on the most uh, commented post, a uh, commented um, post, post. Yeah, I'm just getting confused with the words here. So, so there we have it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually do uh, make our homepage show the comments based on the most number of commented posts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I want you guys to have a wonderful day.